Hi, my name's Chris from Yamaha UK and I'm here at the NAMM 2012 show with SonicState.com. I'd like to talk to you about the new MGP mixers. The MGP, where P stands for premium, is a brand new range of premium mixers from Yamaha. We've had the MG range of mixers for quite a while now, but the MGP really takes this concept of a mixer and ups the game. We've actually designed a mixer from the ground upwards, offering a whole host of new features, including brand new microphone preamps. These are the D-Pre preamp, based very heavily on the N-Series recording console. We've also got a brand new EQ called the Expressive EQ. This is um, based on kind of vintage analog EQ, so it's got a really nice, sweet and musical sound. Um, on top of this, we've got some um, brand new stereo channels. These are called the hybrid stereo channels. There's two on each console. The cool thing with these is they feature some great usable DSP processing. Um, if I start you from the top of the desk, we've got something called the Ducker. I can simply turn the Ducker on and this allows us to plug a microphone into the source channel um, and then that will automatically duck the two track music coming in onto one of the stereo channels. On top of this, we've also got something called the Leveler. So, because we're living in a world where lots of people are streaming music off of their iPod or a similar device, um, a lot of this music where you've got thousands of songs is mastered at different levels. What the leveller does, it takes the engineer's job out of the game and it just allows that level to be evened out. So if you're an engineer playing music in the middle of the gig, um, rather than having to run over to the fader in between every song, the leveller does it automatically for you. So is this like a hybrid of your digital stuff and analog stuff? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this year is quite a significant year for Yamaha. It's 40 years since we launched our first analog console and 25 years since we launched our first digital console. So actually, it's no real coincidence that this year we decided to launch a product that takes the best of both worlds. Um, the final DSP on this hybrid stereo channel is something called the Stereo Image Tool. This is fantastic for installation environments such as a church where maybe you've got um, your PA set right across the uh, auditorium, so the, the audience where you've got left speaker, right speaker and a very vast audience. If you're playing any kind of stereo music, that information is going to get lost for the guys on the right and the guys on the left. So what this allows you to do is very simply bounce the stereo mix down to mono, you can leave it as stereo or you can actually keep it as something called blend. What the blend does, it effectively reduces that stereo picture, still giving you plenty of space and movement in the mix, but maintaining um, a nice clarity. Um, we've also included two DSP effects processes. So we've got the SBX effects, which we've been using on our MG series for quite a while now. But for the first time ever, we've included the RevX reverbs, usually reserved for our high premium consoles. Um, and we've now included that on this mixer as well. If you look at the top right hand corner of the console, you'll see that there's a USB connector. This allows us to connect an iPod or an iPhone and it's actually an Apple certified pod. Um, this means that we can easily stream music into the desk, but we can also charge our device as well. So again, thinking about the engineer playing interval music at a gig, he doesn't have to worry about charging his iPod or iPhone now. It's all done directly from the desk. Can you just plug general storage, USB storage in there as well? You can't, no. It's specifically for your iPod and iPlayer. Um, on top of this, though, we have a free application for your iPod or iPhone that allows you to edit all of these effects, so the Ducker, the Leveler, the Stereo Image, and both of the premium effects protocols as well. So when it's plugged in, you can effectively edit the console? Absolutely. Um, and what's really nice is, because it's a compact mixer, there's two models, a 12 and a 16 channel, um, rather than trying to fit all these parameters on for the effects units, we've now got this in a nice handy application, and it's free. Is the 16 over here? The 16 is over here, yeah. So another thing that I really like about these is that sometimes when you have consoles and they get smaller in the range, you start losing features. These, both these mixers are identical other than the number of inputs. Um, they've got individual phantom powers on each preamp. There's four buses, so you've got four bus plus stereo bus. We've got two auxiliary sends plus your two um, effects sends. It's a good solid metal chassis um, and it's also got rack ears built in. So it's a real premium upgrade in our current range of MG series. So are there more uh, features that you can get at behind the scenes than you can see on the front panel from your digital edge, like de de delay and all that sort of thing? Is there that? Yeah, I mean, using the RevX and the SPX effects, we can access a whole load of reverbs using the RevX, and then in the SPX, we've got a whole range of multiple effects. You want the, and you my, want colleague, my colleague here, John, oh. has the 
has the applications on here as well, so you can see that this is. Um, Does that give you metering as well? Is that metering? Uh, no, that's just a graphic. It's just a look. So there you go. That's the MGP from Yamaha. And when are these available? These are available March, April time. Got any idea on pricing? Uh, street price, we're looking at about six to seven hundred pounds for the uh, twelve and the sixteen.